The culture of teaching is changing in higher education from more faculty-centered approaches to more student-centered approaches. And um, in the online classroom, there are some affordances and opportunities to be more student-centered, but there's also some challenges, as you might expect. And this project is building off of research that we've done previously about what is effective in online teaching. And what we're going to do is look at um, some cognitive variables within students and some demographic variables that have been shown to matter how successful a student will be in an online classroom. And we're going to compare those and run them through um, what they think is effective teaching. And an example of that is that we'll be measuring students' levels of self-efficacy. And self-efficacy is a student's belief that they can do something. It doesn't mean that they really can do it or that they'll be successful with it, but it's their belief that they can be successful with something. So you would expect that a student who has high levels of self-efficacy, that they can do well in an online course, will actually do well in an online course. So we're going to be using structural equation modeling to run some path models and see if we can establish relationships between types of students in an online class based on their cognitive variables and demographics and what they think is, makes them successful, um, what the instructors can do to make them more successful in the online classroom. So the innovation that we're hoping to bring from this and what we think could contribute to education both online and face-to-face -face, is a tool that faculty can use in their classrooms where they can get a read on their students' cognitive profiles and um, then the tool will give them some ideas for how they can adjust their teaching strategies so that they better meet students' needs in the, in the online classroom and it could also um, work in the face-to-face -face classroom and we're calling this um, an adaptive teaching model. So that's our um, contribution to higher education.